The penultimate second round match. The second round will be completed after Paul Nicholson against Stuart Kellett. That's the last match on stage here tonight. And then we'll bring you the lineup for tomorrow's third round. And already just looking down the list, some absolute corkers in store yet again tomorrow afternoon. Ray Van Barneveld against Adrian Lewis. Kim Hybrex against John Part. Robert Thornton against Ian White. Among the matches on this after tomorrow afternoon, from one o'clock again local time, midday if you're watching us in the United Kingdom, this event and uh, all of the European Tour events in 2014 stream live and for free on the official PDC channel on YouTube. Well, Kevin Painter sets this first leg up with double top. Terry Jenkins with another one of those leaves him double 19 for what a start that is for Terry Jenkins Kevin Painter standing there on 40 and now thinking where did that come from well, Terry Jenkins in a nine dart leg in the world championships along with Carl Anderson from Australia they shared £30,000 in the majors on TV, £5,000, and it rolls over for nine darters. But I'm afraid in the Pro Tours and Euro Tours, there's so many of them hit, we don't give one penny. Oh, no, we do give a, a, a little pendant, a gold one for a TV nine darter and a silver one for Pro Tours. Yes, Terry Jenkins and Carl Anderson both hitting nine darters and both losing the matches at uh, Ali Pali. Pear Larson beating Terry Jenkins in the first round while Kevin Painter reached round two and was beaten 4-0 by Simon Whitlock. But that did really set down an early marker in this match, that 1-5-8 checkout in the first leg. And he's already first down to a finish as well, this time the man from Ledbury in Herefordshire. Well, he's taken out the 1-5-8. This should be a mere walk or stroll in the park. Well, that's exactly what it is. And I know Kevin so well, he's going to be standing there getting a little bit mad now, thinking, I can't believe... As the saying goes, how's your luck? <laughs> but that is super darts from Terry Jenkins, 158 and 104, and, and on both legs. Well, the first leg, Painter wanted 40, and there he wants a shot, so he's not doing a lot wrong with the scoring. And a fairly lean year by Terry Jenkins' standards uh, last year, reaching a Players' Championship semi-final in Barnsley in November towards the end of the uh, year. That was pretty much his best performance of the year. former Premier League competitor as indeed is uh, Kevin Painter taking part in the Premier League back in 2012 140. well Kevin Painter may be feeling I've got to take this out because Jenkins is going to get a shot at the 137 the way he's playing and the way he's checking out well, he's done exactly that. Set it up again, surely not for a third leg on the trot. Well, a sigh of relief for Kevin Painter. He will get a two darts at the double. Wants the big three first. So, halting the 
Terry Jenkins juggernaut. With those two big out shots at the start of the match. Painter responding now to just find himself 2-1 behind. Painter originated in Essex, not far from me. He lived in Tiptree. Then moved to Daventry, and now he's moved again. I can't remember where he's moved now. Rug rugby, according to my, uh, That's right, my latest list in Warwickshire. Yeah, he's a, he's a dad. Daughter Madison, I'm sure she'll be watching. Not a great setup there from Terry Jenkins, so a chance here for Kev to set the shot up himself. Leaves the two data, so Jenkins gonna have to come down for the 19s. Once the bullseye. And that's why players start on the 19s on the 1 2 6 out shot. Gives the option, but may be in vain with Painter there back at all square at 2 2 then with that double 18. Well, we're 100% for both players on the doubles. Terry Jenkins with a 1 5 8 and a 104. There we have the averages and all, which are very tidy. A good competitive match from two senior professionals here. And there we have the averages, the stats. The first nine dart, really, if they looked at them, they would expect to be over the 100. They'll know that's a, a flaw in their game at the moment. Wrong, Terry Jenkins is two out of three. And oh, we had a dart of the bullseye, didn't we? Not a dart of the double, that's correct. It's been a long day here, Mike, hasn't it? I've seen some great darts today, though. And do you know what? You know, we talk about the great darts and that, but a couple of um, disappointing performances Peter Wright and Dave Chisnell that will be in that Premier League on Thursday, they would have wanted a good showing this week. This weekend, to, you know, to go into that Premier League. Yeah, seeded number two and three, Chisnell and uh, Peter Wright, respectively, here from the European and the the uh, Pro Tour order of merit, I should say, determining the top 16 seeds. Double eight needed for Painter to go ahead for the first time in this game. Well, he took out a 1-5-8 at the start of this uh, match, but no chance of a 1-5-3 this time. So Painter will be back for double 10. Yes, this match number 15 of 16 that we've brought you here today. And this one simmering along nicely. Yeah, Kev did well. He didn't panic after them first two legs. He could have easily, and a few years ago, he would have got frustrated and started beating himself up and saying, I can't believe that Terry's taken out two big shots. But he, he stayed calm. He knew that in both those legs, you know, he was sitting on the double and the shot out. So he knew in his own mind he's scoring well. 
and he's just had to keep that up and that's exactly what he's done and he's raced off into a three two lead rolled off three legs on the trot still yet to see our first maximum in this match he's going the 25-16 this gives him a guaranteed shot at a double and not the bullseye and that's exactly why if he went the 19 route and hit a 19 he has to go 12 bullseye but at 25 if he hits it guarantees the dart at the double the game personal preference but um, yeah I kind of like that shot a dart at the double instead of a bullseye works for me and a great start to this seventh leg from Terry Jenkins And again, these two well matched in terms of the pace. Yes, very much so. And we've said it so many times. It enables them at this sort of pace to just concentrate on their own game. And as we see poor old Richie Burnett, the first four legs against Justin Pipe yesterday was just having a drink of water, having a walk around, reading the paper. <laughs> You know, he, he was all over the place for four legs, Richie was. Yes, Justin Pike beating Richie Burnett and beating Ooh. Brendan Dolan earlier on. The number four seed also going out here, Brendan Dolan. And Justin Pike will be up against the winner of the last match of the night, Paul Nicholson or Stuart Kellett. number under 100 that you need all three darts well is he going double top double top now yes he actually went for it that's the sensible target you can see it's twice the size of the treble to break the throw for terry jenkins and he hits it first dart a break a throw for jenkins he broke him in the first leg he broke him in the seventh yes again could be another crucial moment in this match well Jenkins punishing that poor Whoa. opening visit from Kevin Painter with a 140 to respond to Painter's 42. Good cover on the 19s though for the artist. And a maximum for Terry Jenkins to set this up after nine darts. An exceptional leg to go one leg away a win 25 again he's going the 25 16 it worked before this time a little bit low but Kevin Painter at least six darts away possibly nine so plenty of darts for Terry Jenkins to clean this leg up So a good solid leg there 
when needed for Jenkins, just one leg away from victory. Knowing that even if Painter wins this on his throw, Terry will be back with the darts in the following leg to seal a victory. And prepare for Michael Van Gerwen tomorrow afternoon. Well, Kev's got to win all three of these last legs. Two of them are with throw. And it's that important one against the throw, especially if he wins this. It's going to be the next leg that he's going to have to contain Terry Jenkins on his throw. And that doesn't help. It really doesn't help. Puts the advantage to Terry Jenkins. Ton eight is in consecutive legs for Jenkins. Puts him on a finish for the match. We'll look to uh, tidy this up to leave a decent out shot. Good last start there. And Painter won't finish now on 57, so Terry Jenkins will come back for 56 to book his place in round three. He's hit 48, so he wants uh, double four. Not the way he would wanted to have gone, but just composes himself. Just one dart then at it, and does it, beating Kevin Painter 6-3. And Terry Jenkins will take on Michael Van Gerwen tomorrow afternoon. One more second round match to bring you tonight. Up next in a couple of minutes time, Paul Nicholson takes on Stuart Kelly. Und trifft morgen auf Michael van Gerwen.